Hola, bienvenidos a la clase. Mi nombre es Liliana y hoy tengo una lectura corta en inglés. Se trata de la rutina diaria de una joven. Primero voy a leer la lectura lento y voy a subrayar las palabras para que puedan seguirla. Y después la voy a leer un poco más rápido. Comenzamos. Hi, my name is Sophie and I live in California. Today I will share my daily routine with you. I usually get up at 6 a.m. to get ready for school. First, I go to the bathroom. Then I wash my hands and face with soap. I brush my hair and get dressed. Hi, my name is Sophie and I live in California. Today, I will share my daily routine with you. I usually get up at 6 a.m. to get ready for school. First, I go to the bathroom. Then, I wash my hands and face with soap. I brush my hair and get dressed. Afterwards, I go to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. I usually eat oatmeal and drink a cup of coffee. I love coffee. It keeps me awake during class. By 8 a.m. I leave my house and take the bus to school because I don't have a car. Afterwards, I go to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. I usually eat oatmeal and drink a cup of coffee. I love coffee. It keeps me awake during class. By 8 a.m. I leave my house and take the bus to school because I don't have a car. I'm studying to be a nurse. I like to help others. Right now, I can only take a few classes a day as I also have to work. I usually start work at 2 p.m. as a cashier at a gas station. It doesn't pay too well, but it helps with rent and the other bills. I'm studying to be a nurse. I like to help others. Right now, I can only take a few classes a day, as I also have to work. I usually start work at 2 p.m. as a cashier at a gas station. It doesn't pay too well, but it helps with rent and the other bills. I get off work at 8 p.m. and go home to do my homework. I clean up a little bit around the house and do the dishes. I take a shower before bed and try to relax and I go to sleep around 11 p.m. thinking about the next day. I get off work at 8 p.m. and go home to do my homework. I clean up a little bit around the house and do the dishes. I take a shower before bed and try to relax and I go to sleep around 11 p.m. thinking about the next day. Aquí se termina la historia. Usamos frases y palabras muy comunes en inglés. Espero que les esté ayudando. Ahora voy a poner cuatro preguntas de comprensión a ver si entendieron lo que dice la historia. Traten de contestarlas. Si tienen lápiz y papel pueden escribirlas o si no pueden usar los comentarios. Where does Sophie live? 
What does Sophie usually eat for breakfast? Does Sophie work as a cashier at a gas station? At what time does Sophie get off work? Pueden regresar a la historia para que vean la respuesta de las preguntas. Estas preguntas son basados en lo que está en la historia, entonces ahí mismo pueden encontrar la respuesta. En un ratito voy a poner la respuesta en pantalla, pero les estoy dejando un tiempecito para que puedan escribirlas. Mientras están buscando las respuestas, les invito a que nos den like y se suscriban para poder seguir haciendo contenido así. ¿Estamos listos? Where does Sophie live? She lives in California. What does Sophie usually eat for breakfast? She usually eats oatmeal. Does Sophie work as a cashier at a gas station? Yes, she does. At what time does Sophie get off work? She gets off work at 8 p.m. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Si ¿Sí encontraron las respuestas? Si necesitan ayuda con la pronunciación, los invito a ver mi curso completo para aprender a leer en inglés. Voy a dejar el enlace en la descripción o le pueden hacer clic a la cajita que está apareciendo en pantalla. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Espero hayan disfrutado la lectura y nos vemos en la próxima.